Hello, this is Eugene Chen. Um, today I'll be teaching you how to create a height map for import into Unity 3D and um, um, how to create sort of a simple terrain from a, a 256 gradients of a sort of an 8 bit textures height map for the Unity engine. Um, we'll be using three tools. The first one is paint.net. Paint um, you could either also use Photoshop which I'll show you in a short while. So from these two packages you'll be um, generating clouds um, you know, for the height maps and then exporting them and then also com converting them from a 8-bit bit bitmap to a raw format using this converter and finally importing it into the Unity 3D game engine. So the first software really is from um, the paint.net so you could come to this um, URL go to get paint and right here there's a link which you can click and you can download that from this okay free download and then after your installation you could you should go to the bitmap to raw converter right here um, in this link and the link actually is right here not there that's the PDF reader so it is here and then you can download the bitmap to raw converter from this softpedia link okay you will download in a short while okay so there is now um after you've downloaded it you need to especially for this file um you will need to ex you know use the I'm using WinRAR, but you could be using Windows zip format. Make sure you copy this file to a directory, which I'm going to do right now. Right now. So um, let me create in my E drive. It could be in your C drive. Okay, how about let's just do in the C drive. I'm going to create a new directory. Right mouse click. Um, call BMP to raw. Okay, in and you could uh, in a zip format. Um, you know this WinRAR could easily pull this in, and there's instruction here on how to use the software. Okay, which I'll show you immediately. Mm -hmm. So all your bitmap files should be downloaded, um, uh, sort of saved from Paint.net or Photoshop into this folder. Let's close that. We don't need that anymore. Um, also, make sure you download Unity 3D. Um, for later use, so you'll be going to the store and um, select the base product which is Unity, the free version, and then proceed to download. Or you could be trying out the Unity 3.5 public beta, which supports shadows, um, you know, reflection on water rather than the free version. Okay, so now that we've got all the files we need. Okay, let's open up uh, paint.net. Okay, I've got paint.net paint right here um, with uh, a cloud already already generated. But let's create a new file. Now your file should be in uh, the power of two, so it's either you know um, two five six by two five six, one two eight by two one two eight, five one two by one five one two, or one zero two four by one zero two four. So let's create a new. Um, you know, sw square image. And then we can go to the effects, render, and get some clouds generated. Okay, you could be also painting using the white um, paint and a sort of a bigger tool brush. You know, paint certain uh, uh, protruding surfaces. Now the black parts they are. The lowest part of the terrain, you know, the lowest part of the terrain. The highest part is the white part, white bit. So in between that, it's just a gradient, okay, the slope. Now after you've created your height map, you can, you have to uh, change it, adjustment, change it to a grayscale image, so it becomes a, an 8-bit image that Unity can load. Okay, now that it's black and white. All you have to do is just to save it in your, you know, the folder that that we created earlier, bitmap to raw. And I'm going to save it as a bitmap 
and naming it um, um, height map 512. Save it. And make sure you select the 8 bit. The, the 24 bit has an alpha channel which we don't need. All we, we need is an 8 bit, you know, a 256 gradient grayscale image file. Like that. Press OK. And in our folder, you can see that we've got our height map here. Now, um, in Photoshop, you can do the same thing. Okay? So, this is Photoshop. Let's create a new file. 512 by 512 grayscale 8 bit is what you need so from here you can go to the filters render clouds okay uh, paint.net somehow has a very similar um, menu system so generating clouds okay the reason is that you know one of the background isn't black so we're going to select you know make it black Okay, and I'm going to go back to generate clouds. Now we can also paint on here and go into the save very quickly, save it as a bitmap file again in our C drive bitmap to raw. I'm going to name this differently, I'm going to just name it HM512, HM that's Photoshop. Um, it doesn't matter what you name it as. Make sure it's 8 bit Windows. And there we go. So, after that, what we really need now is to get into the command line um, of Windows. So, go to start, run. Uh, it's similar in Windows Vista or Windows 7. And then type cmd command. Okay. Um, and there we go. So what we're going to do is to change our drive to C, oh, sorry, CD, and C drive, CD. We're already in C drive, okay? So we're going to go to the root folder, list the directory, and that's our folder. So I'm going to change directory, CD, BMP2 raw. So we've got, we are now in the directory. I'm going to do a directory listing, DIR. And so what we see here reflects what we see in the Windows GUI. Okay, we've got the executable file and the others. Uh, the, the other files that were created in paint.net and Photoshop are here. Um, well, the other way perhaps to access your command prompt is from the accessories command prompt and that gives you the same thing which you've got to change back to okay and doing the same let's close that now let's generate the raw file format so all we've got to do is to type in the executable followed by a height map once you've typed height actually you can press tab and it will automatically list out your you know the full file name but you know in this um, bitmap to raw conversion. We don't need to type in the extension. Okay. Um. Well, I found out that we have an uh, we have an issue with the uh, with the file name. It's too long. So what we can do is actually to change this. You know, so that it doesn't go over the eight character limit. So I'm going to name that. HM512A. So make sure you name all your your paintshop paint.net and Photoshop file name bit 8 bit bitmap to a short name. And once I've done that, we can now really generate HM512A without the extension. There we go. And that's one file generated. Let's generate the other file, HM512, which is that. Okay, and there we go. So now we've got two files. Now this file doesn't get read by Unity, so what we have to do is just change that to, to raw. Okay, we have to also click again, you know, or right mouse click rename, change that to raw. Okay, now that it's in raw format, we can actually um, read it from Photoshop. Okay, so that's the file that we got from paint.net. Okay, in paint.net you can also read it, but you have to install um, a DLL file. 
Okay, paint.net uh, raw file. Okay, what you've got to do is to um, open raw file in paint.net. Okay, and um, there's there's a link somewhere. Okay, right here. Okay, now this file has to be copied to the paint.net. Um, I've installed my paint.net in E. Yours should be in C if it's by default. Okay, it should be copied to the file types. Okay, um, folder, and then once you restart paint.net, it will automatically it will allow you to read the file. Now, okay, coming back to Unity, what we're going to do is to um, let's close this now. Um, you know, is to generate a you know a height map like that on the terrain. So let's create a new project. Um, I'm going to name the new project um, terrain test. Now, and there are a few things you need to import. So we'd like to have the character controller. We'd like to have the um, let's scroll down. We definitely like to have the skybox and also the terrain assets and perhaps water if you want to include water. But Let's not do it now. So we've got the character controller, skybox, and terrain assets, and that should be should be sufficient. Okay, don't save this. So Unity is restarting. Just wait a little bit. It's importing the assets. Takes a little while. And there we go. Now the first step is to that's our camera. Okay. But we want to create the terrain, okay? So there we have our terrain. And the next step really is just to import the height map. Okay, where did we save our height map? We saved it in I saved it in C, bitmap to raw. Okay, so let's load one of them, and I'm going to change the terrain size to a little bit smaller. That reflects the um, the terrain that we have earlier, and let's make sure it's not so high. So you know, I like to have it around 100 and just 100 in the height. Okay, import, and there we go. That's the image that we created in um, that was a Photoshop image. Okay, that was this. So we could alternately import another height map which we've created in okay, um, paint.net and that gives us the other terrain. And there we have you know, um, a terrain created in Unity Engine from the raw height map saved through paint.net paint and generated from the um, bitmap to raw converter by this great person here. That's it.